Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. And there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you can see photos of all of the different patterns I have available for you to get a PDF of and knit up. If you do knit it, uh, any of my patterns, I would love to hear about it. Please feel free to chat with me in the comments below or in the description below, you will find a link to the Watch Barbara Knits Facebook group, and I would love to have you come over. It's a closed group, but request approval, and I will let you in. And I started it because it's some place where we can actually share pictures, and it's more of a threaded thing, and um, some people are more comfortable with it, but I love chatting either on Facebook or here in the comments. It is the end of October. Can you believe it? But... That means it secret shopper time! Yay, secret shopper! So excited. This is my favorite part of every month. And from what some of y'all have told me, also your favorite thing on Watch Barbara Knit. Secret shopper is where I give another knitter a budget and they go shopping for me and buy me something fibery related. It's really exciting. It is a way for me to be, and you, to be exposed to products and ideas and things that I didn't know were out there. All of the information on anything I unbox will be in the description below, so make sure to check it and you can see it. I am super excited. My secret shopper for this month was Mary Scott, and she actually went to Alaska. She is in my Ravelry group and she said she was going on an Alaska cruise and was like, so do you want me to buy you something there? And I was like, yes, please. So this came to me via the Great White North. And I'm very curious to see what she procured for me. Um, it might mean that it might not be the most available thing, but I'm sure it's going to be super fun. And thank you, Mary Scott, so much for thinking of me. So what I'm going to do is open this up as always. I'm going to try to hold it up where you guys can see what I'm doing. I got to be super careful because, you know, scissors and yarn are not always the best of friends. And I don't want to accidentally cut... Oh! No, it was just tissue paper. Just tissue paper. False alarm, guys. But that was kind of scary. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like I got a card of some sort. I'm not going to read it just yet. Just in case it's got spoilers. Okay. This, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure by the shape of it, it's either a giant Alaskan sausage or yarn. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, good. I only cut the tissue paper. Let's see what this is. Look at that. Oh, I feel something else down in there too. So I'm going to set that aside. Look. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Such an amazing green. This is from the Alaskan Yarn Company in Homer, Alaska. And you want to know something completely crazy? I've actually been to Homer when I was young, when I think it was my senior year, just for my senior year of high school, my uncle lived in Alaska and we went to visit him and we actually drove down to Homer. I wasn't a knitter yet, so I couldn't get any of this awesome yarn, but how cool. Here you go. There's the, there, I'm going to get the light on. There we go. You can see. So there is a website. I'll put it in the description below. Alaskan Yarn Company. This is knittystash.com. It is so cool. A local yarn store located at 3581 Main Street in Homer, Alaska. How cool. It's yarn from Alaska. So yes, there is a website. So I'm sure if you love this, this is a 75% Merino Superwash and 25% nylon. So it is a real honest to goodness sock yarn. It is hand painted in small runs by two Alaskan women. The dyes are hand mixed and each individual skein is painted by hand. So look at this and it even has this really cool little symbol. 
looky there. It says made in Alaska and it has a tiny polar bear. So that's awesome. And it's, oh my God, the tiny polar bear has a baby polar bear. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to take the little sleeve off so we can see the color better. Oh, so beautiful. It's like this almost spring green, but then there's speckles of yellow and just little pops of blue. That is absolutely beautiful. It's not so variegated that it's going to cause problems when you knit it up. It's just going to add a little bit of interest, which is really nice. And it is super soft. So very exciting. Alaskan Yarn Company in Homer. And let's see, I felt something else in here what is it mm. i stuck my finger in it i hope that was okay but it seems to be finger shaped <laughs> it is it is a thimble that says s-k-a-g-w-a-y Skagway. There are way too many consonants in that. Skagway, Alaska. And it's got a little train on it. Here, let me put my hand behind it so you guys can see it. Look at that. It's got a cute little train. Doo -doo. How cool. That is fun. Thimbles are a really cool thing because they're small and yet collectible. <laughs> so let's see. So cool. Let's see what Mary Scott had to say. She sent me this beautiful Alaska postcard. Dear Barbara, I bought this yarn and the thimble in our first first part in Alaska. Hmm. First port. Port. She was on a cruise in Alaska Skagway. They had other colors that I considered, but... They were very variegated, and I thought this would knit up beautifully. See exactly what I just said. It is super squishy. Put Alaska on your bucket list. It is gorgeous. And see, I've already been there. She didn't know that, but it is. I completely agree with you. Alaska is 100% a bucket list place. It is absolutely beautiful, but I might have to go back because I wasn't into yarn. And my understanding is that's where the kiviet comes from, which is super soft. But so here is the really cool Alaska postcard and the absolutely beautiful yarn. And you did great, Mary Scott. I think it will knit up really well. So I think we were thinking... We were thinking the same thing and a super cool thimble. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mary Scott, for thinking about me when you were on your trip. I hope you got a lot of knitting done on your trip. Now, if anyone out there thinks that they might like to be a secret shopper, please let me know in the comments below or email me or contact me. It could be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sustain this because it is a little bit of a financial outlay, but I, so far it's still really working for me. Now, we have a little bit of extra time and this past weekend I was at Rhinebeck and one of my very good friends, Jen Lucas, came to see me and she gave me... A present. Now, I put it in my bag, but things were so busy because I was signing my books. And thank you to everyone who came by and said hi. I really was excited to meet a bunch of people who watch this channel. But she gave me, and I put it in my bag. And um, I didn't forget about it because I knew it was in there. But after I hadn't opened it up that day, I was like, maybe I'll hang on to it and open it on camera. So I have a little bonus unwrapping, I guess you will call it. So this is from my friend Jen. And let's see what's in here. And I'm going to totally do the whole... No, it's really... She's a very good wrapper. I thought I was going to like go and be all like two-year-old on it. But apparently, no, I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, it's... The... Oh, oh, there we go. Yay! Let's see what we got. Oh, 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 stuff falling out. What is this? Oh, my goodness. I have no idea what this is, but it's cute. Look at that. It's got monsters on it. What 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 do I do with this? I'm going to guess this has something to do with plannery stuff because that's one of the things we talk about a lot. But I have no idea what this is. Monsters line note. It's just a big notebook. And actually, I really like this size. So it's just got blank pages, but it's big. And I really love the fact 
Hello, go focus that he's got to watch on because it's very important for monsters to be on time. <laughs> so there we go. And what else? <gasps> we got some super cute stickers. Once more with love. I'm going to be a super person. That is fabulous. <laughs> cute. We like cute. Look at the cute little guys and more. Now I might take this upstairs. This looks like something that I could write notes to my son on. And we have, oh my gosh. Look at those. <laughs> They're like little tiny chicken heads <laughs> that you can use to tab things. So that is absolutely adorable. Tiny tabs. Thank you so much, Jen, for getting me... Jen is going to have me organized if it kills her, is my guess, because I love all these things. So thank you so much, Jen, for bringing that to me at Rhinebeck. I really, these guys are killing me. They are just ridiculous. Can you see them? Oh my gosh, they're cute. So that was a little bonus, but I want to come back to the beautiful yarn. So soft, so soft. And I love this color. It's so springy. So we might have to look for something in the spring in this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.